Oke, okay, um, halo semuanya. Uh, selamat pagi. Uh, selamat datang di acara OMSM 2021 uh, Live Sessions um, Open Lab Author Meeting Ensemble kolaborasi dengan Proyekto Mutar. Um, di sini uh, saya selaku pembawa acara dan juga nanti akan membantu uh, sedikit mengenai translasi. Uh, nama saya Rangga Purnama Aji. Uh, Saya juga uh, termasuk uh, pengurus di Oxford Meeting Contemporary Music Musicians. Um, jadi di sesi kali ini uh, nanti kita akan uh, mengadakan sebuah uh, premier karya dari teman-teman Oxford Meeting Ensemble berkolaborasi dengan teman-teman uh, dari Peru, yaitu tergabung dengan dalam uh, proyek Mutar dan juga um, beberapa dari mereka adalah uh, seorang live coder, jadi ada kelompok uh, musisi uh, ensemble pada umumnya dengan instrumen akustik dan juga ada teman-teman live coder uh, yang menggunakan perangkat-perangkat live coding untuk praktik artistiknya itu kurang lebihnya. Uh, sebelum kita mulai uh, premier, uh, saya akan membacakan terlebih dahulu uh, narasi daripada uh, program ini. Uh, OMSM Open Lab merupakan agenda laboratorium terbuka yang dirancang untuk mempertemukan berbagai seniman, musisi, antusias, dan kalangan lain dalam sebuah rangkaian aktivitas eksperimental, uh, aktivitas eksperimentasi, diskusi, kajian, dan presentasi sebagai upaya mengolah berbagai peristiwa dan wacana dalam praktik artistik masa kini. Pada sesi Open Lab kali ini, OMSM mengundang proyekto Mutar bersama teman-teman live Coda dari Peru dan Octobre Meeting Ensemble dari Indonesia untuk bertemu, berkolaborasi, serta bereksperimensi dalam membangun peristiwa dan wacana topik mengenai latency dan ambient music. Kedua hal tersebut dipilih sebagai topik dalam agenda Open Lab untuk mendasari aktivitas eksperimentasi artistik yang melibatkan penyandingan antara instrumen musik akustik dan matriks bunyi, dan dalam kasus ini perangkat live coding, pemanfaatan latency yang seringkali dilihat sebagai gangguan mekanisme penghadar informasi pada aktivitas digital, ambient music sebagai stimulus bentuk karya, serta kemungkinan mekanisme penghantar informasi pada presentasi artistik secara digital yang melibatkan jaringan internet. Sesi premier karya dan diskusi Open Lab Uh, Ome bersama proyek Mutar kali ini merupakan presentasi hasil dari aktivitas laboratorium selama 8 kali pertemuan secara virtual sebelum agenda siaran OMCM 2021 dimulai. Uh, kurang lebih seperti itu. Uh, saya akan membacakan yang lagi sekarang dalam bahasa, bahasa Inggris. Um, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the October meeting Contemporary Music and Musicians 2021. 2021. 2020. One, sorry, 20 and 21, uh, live uh, for the Open Lab Oxford Meeting Ensemble Project Mutar um, collaborations. Um, in this in these sessions, uh, we are going to have uh, the the work premiere of their of their collaborations. It is uh, an one hour long work, and then after that, we are going to have an open discussions. Uh, of course, with the presentations for our friends uh, from the Open Lab itself, and I'm going to read the, the narrations. So, I think before that, I think for everyone who interested to join the discussion uh, later in the Google Meet, or maybe you can also like uh, join through the the live YouTube channel. You can just click the link on the description in the in the in the YouTube channel, which is like link tree. After meeting CMM, you can just like click the live discussion, and then you're going to be directed into the the, the Google Meet um, room. So, after meeting contemporary music and musicians Open Lab is an open laboratory agenda designed to bring together various artists, musicians, enthusiasts, and other groups in a series of experimentation activities, discussions, studies, and presentations as an effort to process various. events and discourses in today's artistic practice. In this open lab session, OMCMM invited Proyecto Mutar with life coder friends from Peru and the October Meeting Ensemble, or OME, from Indonesia to meet, collaborate, and experiment in building events and topic discourse on latency and ambient music. These two things were chosen as topics on the open lab agenda to underlie artistic experimentation activities that involve pairing acoustic musical instruments and sound metrics 
in this case, live curing devices. The use of latency, which is often seen as a disturbance of the information delivery mechanism in digital activities. Ambient music as a stimulus in the form of work, as well as the possibility of a mechanism for delivering information in digital artistic presentation involving the internet network. This premier session of the work and discussion of OpenLab only uh, with Project Mutar is a presentation of the laboratory activities result from eight virtual meetings before the OSM 2021 broadcast agenda uh, begins. Without further ado, um, let's let's go to the the October meeting contemporaneous musicians YouTube channel, and let's start the premiere of work. Everyone in the Google Meet uh, room can turn off their camera and directly move on to the um, to the channel to watch the events. Let's start the premiere right now.
One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one.
three, two, one. Four, 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 two, three, one. Four, three, two, one. Two, four, one. Two, four, one. Three, two, one. Two, four, one. Four, three, one, one, three, two, one. Four, three, four, one, one, three, two, four, one, one, two, four, four.
All right, and we are back. <clears throat> that was the premiere of the work by all the Open Lab participants from Peru and also from Indonesia. I want to kind of like invite um, Mika, Mi gente, Mikausa from Peru, <laughs> Fabio, Renzo, and Andres, and also uh, Santiago. I think Santiago is here, right? Or no? Ah, yes, yes, it's here. Okay, uh, and also friends from Indonesia, uh, Berto, Iqbal, and then Mas Reski, and also um, Mas Puput. All right, how is everyone going? <laughs> Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Hey, how are you? Hi, guys. Oh, great. Okay. Hola. I will. <laughs> oh, yeah, Renzo is here, right? Ah, yes, Renzo is also here. Yeah, uh, I, I want to kind of like um, read. Um, uh, the profiles of of the whole uh, participants, uh, mentors, and also um, yeah, uh, the communities, which is like the automatic ensemble, and also the project of Mutan. Um, first of all, uh, the October meeting ensemble. So October meeting ensemble is a musical ensemble that was formed in two thousand sixteen. Uh, during the first agenda of October meeting contemporary music and musicians. Uh, this ensemble currently focused uh, as a uh, space for a laboratory or laboratory activities uh, for musicians that kind of like interested in the various um, topics or discourses about the performance studies uh, in nowadays uh, era. Um, teman-teman oh, selamat datang di uh, agenda doctor meeting ini teman-teman kebetulan di sini udah udah ada semua teman-teman yang bergabung uh, yaitu para partisipan dan uh, beberapa mentor juga di agenda perlap ini uh, tadi uh, saya membacakan satu satu apa uh, profil mengenai tour meeting dan sekarang saya akan meneruskan dalam bahasa Indonesia um, jadi, October Meeting Ensemble merupakan ensemble musik yang dibentuk pada tahun 2016 dalam agenda pertama October Meeting Contemporary Music Musicians. Ensemble ini saat ini berfokus sebagai wadah laboratorium bagi musisi yang tertarik pada beragam bahasan dan wacana studi pertunjukan musik masa kini. Uh, and then the second one is Proyekto Mutar. Proyekto Mutar is an independent cultural initiative founded in Lima, Peru in 2019 that proposes the creation of spaces for the study and appreciation of music and its relation with other arts and society. This has been possible through online concerts, workshops, exhibitions, listening sessions, and study groups. Some of this, uh, sorry, 
Some of this took place on online 3D web spaces with artists and assistants from Argentina, Canada, Colombia, Costa Rica, Indonesia, Mexico, and Peru, and the collaboration with organizations and collectives from these countries. That's like the two communities uh, in, in the, that kind of like involved in this uh, project. Jadi uh, mengenai proyek Mutar, jadi proyek Mutar adalah uh, sebuah inisiasi kebudayaan independen yang ditemukan di Lima Peru pada tahun 2019. Uh, mereka menginisiasi mengenai uh, terciptanya sebuah ruang untuk pembelajaran atau studi dan apresiasi mengenai musik dan apapun yang berrelasi terhadap uh, seni dan uh, sosial lainnya. Uh, hal ini dianggap setelah menjadi hal yang memungkinkan melalui um, beberapa agenda-agenda konser secara online, lalu uh, workshop, uh, pameran, terus sesi mendengar, dan uh, kelompok belajar atau study group. Uh, uh, beberapa agenda-agenda tersebut itu ter, ter, apa, ter, terjadi atau mengambil uh, tempat di semacam ruang tiga dimensi uh, website online uh, bagi dengan artis dengan seniman-seniman dan um, bantuan dari uh, teman-teman Argentina, Kanada, Kolombia, Costa Rica, Indonesia, Meksiko dan Peru dan juga kolaborasi lainnya uh, bersama organisasi dan kolektif yang berada dari negara tersebut kurang lebih seperti itu. Um, and then continue first. I think I will kind of like start with Santiago. Um, would you like me to read your profile, or you want to kind of like introduce yourself? All right. Yeah. Okay, so Santiago uh, Ramirez Camarena. Uh, Santiago, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, Santiago Ramirez Camarena. So Santiago graduated in sound engineering. He continued his formation with a degree in academic music composition, being student of the composers Gonzalo Garrido Leque, uh, pardon if, if, I'm, if I pronounce it wrong, Sadio Cuentas, Antonio Gervasoni, and Jose Susaya, along with the achievement of a master degree in cultural management in the Universitat Oberta de Catalunya, Spain. He was work for many years in music for media, work that he left to found Proyecto Mutar, an independent cultural initiative in Lima, Peru. In his recent work, he's been exploring artistic languages such as life coding and 3D. He has presented his work in events such as the Transpixel Festival and concert with international artists. Yeah, I think I will kind of like um, continue with the uh, English and the lecture with animation. The second one, I will um, also, oh, before, before I continue, so Santiago is also like uh, the mentor, one of the mentor of this uh, Open Lab um, event. And the second one, which is, which, uh, which is the one that I want to introduce right now is Puput Pramoditya. Mas Puput, hello, Mas Puput, ada di sini. I hear you. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So Puput Pramoditya. Um, Puput Pramoditya uh, is a composer, arranger, violinist, and lecturer who was born in November 1989. Since 2019, he has been a lecturer at the Department of Music Composition, Faculty of Performing Arts, Indonesia Institute of the Arts, Yogyakarta. Experienced as an arranger for the OST music movie, Ketika Mas Gagah Pergi, played by Kisak, Sim wait, yeah, Kisak Sim Symphony Orchestra in 2015. The elder of RS KKNI branch song writing by Kemen Parekraf, which is the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy in Indonesia in, 2000, in 2020. Then as a speaker in music arrangement, workshop by Art Music Today, Ruang Music and Entrepreneurship Department of Semarang State University in 2019. And then, uh, 10 things that you need to know in, in music arrangement. Uh, 10 things that you need to know in music arrangement. 
uh, webinar by Indonesian Institute of the Art in Bali in 2021. He also wrote composition with various instrumentations such as Jalan Sunyi Bisma for orchestra and Senjang for string quartet, Bung Rebab and Computer in 2014. Okay. Yeah, hello, Mas Uput. Sehat, Mas? Uh, agak kurang enak badan, tapi ya, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, he said Mas Uput uh, a little bit unwell, but hopefully he will get, get, he will get better soon. Um, also, I will continue uh, with the introduction for the all participants, starting with friends from Peru. Um, the first one is Andres, Andres Cisneros. So hello Andres, hola Andres, you're here, right? Yeah, Andres is here. Yes, yeah. that's Andres. Hello. Crazy, awesome, visualist, life career from Peru. And I want to say that, um, so Andres is, uh, uh, um, Sorry, I mean like, uh, I, I think I will read the, uh, his uh, profile. So, Andres uh, currently studying audiovisual arts in PUCP. PUCP. Uh, and then since his participation in Asymtria 2020 festival, he explores sounds and overall visuals with technology and programming languages. He launched Algorandom to make uh, some crazy random and chill audiovisual stuff with code or not, mixing serendipity uh, funniness and criticism, he developed most of the work he makes. That's Andres Cisneros. And yeah, the uh, second one is uh, Iqbal Harja Maulana. Is, so Iqbal is a member of the Action Meeting Ensemble. So Iqbal graduated uh, from Institute, Indonesian Institute of the Art in Yogyakarta in 2020. Uh, right now, he currently um, continue his study of masters in College of Chinese and Asian, Asian art. Um, he was interested uh, in all in various uh, kind of music, and then joining uh, Oxford Music Ensemble for broadening um, his uh, musical perspectives. Uh, hello, Iqbal. Are you here? Yes. Hello. I hear you. Okay. Hello, that's, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so that's Iqbal Harja uh, Maulana. And then the, sec uh, the, the next one is Fabio. I love Fabio. You're here, right? Yeah, Fabio is here. Um, so Fabio Rojas, uh, he was a professional composer and multi-instrumentalist from the city of Lima, Peru. Um, Fafio Rojas started studying music at Mario Orozco Academy, pardon if, I'm, if I pronounce that wrong, and then continued his studies on PUCP as a composer student. He has participated on the production and composition of two EPs with his band uh, Ciudad Panico, right? Oh, sorry, yeah, C C Ciudad Panico. Uh, he is a member of the interdisciplinary improvisation collective called Sensalfona a group that combines live coding with performing arts. He is currently composing music for theater and opera, collaborating with Peruvian librettist Maritza Nunes. Yeah, so that's Fabio Rojas. And then next one is, uh, is Mas, Masreski. Masreski, are you here? Does Masreski yeah, yeah, here? Oh no, <laughs> it's not here. And anyway, all right. I kind of like just like read it. Uh, so Reski Yahya, <clears throat> Reski Yahya uh, start his study uh, about instrument uh, controversy uh, from uh, sorry since two thousand eleven in uh, in a senior musical high school in Jakarta under the guidance of Sudi Rastono. And then he continued his study uh, in 2014 uh, in Indonesian Institute of the Arts, Jakarta, under the, 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 the Pfizer, supervising, supervisor sorry, uh, of Agung Prasetya. And 
uh, during the 2016, uh, joining the Bandung Philharmonic Orchestra, and 2019 uh, with uh, Jakarta City Philharmonic, and 2018 uh, together with Octor Meeting Contemporary Music and Musicians as the manager of the Octor Meeting Ensemble. Okay, so Masreski is not here, but I think that's okay. And so I will continue with the last one from Feru uh, is Renzo. Renzo, are you here? Oh yes, Renzo is here. Sorry, I keep asking. Um, yeah, so Renzo is also one of the participants uh, from Peru. Uh, so Renzo Rosvigliosi is a Peruvian performing artist who complements his work with technology and open source software. He staged Price, he staged, um, sorry, Prision Euphoria as a kick theater show with seasons on the rock and press and the PUCP Cultural Center. Renzo is the director of the interdisciplinary revisation collective Sensafone, with whom he explores the relationships, sorry, the relationships between performing arts, such as dance, music, and acting, and their dialogue with algorithms and live coding. Yeah, so that's Renzo. Yeah, Renzo is also here. Um, and then last one from Octometric Ensemble, we have Berto. Berto, hello? Okay, yeah, that's Berto. Um, so, Berto, Roberto Cristofal Ngongandi, uh, sorry, Roberto Cristofal Ngongandi, yeah, pardon me. Uh, in 2014, he was first uh, study cello in um, senior, senior musical high school in Jakarta. And right now, currently uh, pursuing his study uh, in Indonesian Institute of the Arts and focusing in the subject of um, musical performance. That's more or less, yeah. So, hello, Berto. Okay. Hi. All right. Yeah. So I think I think that's I think that's everyone, right? Hopefully, I'm not I'm not missing one. Okay. Yeah. So I think since since we are going to have like. Um, like, I don't know, like 13 minutes or more. I think I think we're going to continue this in English, but but I'll try to kind of like translate this later. And also maybe since this will be recorded, then we are going to kind of like put a subtitle for later in Indonesia. So uh, yeah, that's totally, totally okay. And also no, no worries about that. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's quite long introductions and I want to kind of like congratulate everyone here for, for the premiere and also for thank you so much Santiago from Proyecto, Proyecto Mutar and also Maspupu Pramuditia from Automating Ensemble. Um, and it's it's truly an interesting uh, piece that uh, we are listening and we are uh, uh, watching together uh, before. And I wanted to know, uh, maybe uh, I, I will start from uh, the mentors first, maybe Maspupu or Santiago. You can also like maybe kind of like um, explain like, or maybe like tell a story about how, how this uh, decision made about, about the, 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 the concept of the, of the piece itself. Yeah. Uh, who, 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 you want to start for Santiago? Uh, Arden, we can listen to your, no sounds. My input. Okay. Uh, ah yes. You. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Hello, hello everyone. I'm really glad to see you again. Um, to hear the work again, also. It's it, it's uh, it, it was a, a really lovely experience, and I think that. The word that came came out of of the lab is a wonderful piece of art. I'm sure you all agree with me. <laughs> um, well, uh, about this whole collaboration, well, this started when uh, the October meeting direction contacted me, and and 
Mas Puput uh, to collaborate uh, in the lab. This, there, there was this idea of uh, the ensemble collaborating with uh, uh, life colors uh, from here, from Peru. So yeah, uh, we started to to think about uh, how we could work that work on that. And um, well, from my side, I started uh, proposing three names for the for this collaboration. So my part on this at first was like a curator for the participants. And yeah, I I contacted. Uh, Andres, Fabio, and Renzo, and they agree. <laughs> they agree to to take part in this, and I'm really happy and thankful for that. Uh, I think, uh, well, it, it was uh, a great <laughs> a great choice uh, to work with them. I I I think that we uh, I, I propose I propose them. Uh, uh, and you also know know the Ranga from our work uh, on other projects. Um, well, we we knew we knew about uh, their talents and their capabilities um, and their background also, and how they could fit uh, perfectly with with the October meeting ensemble. Um, and well, when the meetings started when the lab started uh, we were kind of uh, just uh, giving ideas of what we could do um yeah it was all uh, like decide which of those ideas uh, could work the best because we didn't have a lot of time and all the meetings also were a little complicated because of our time zones, so we have to work on on that too. And also, and I'm, maybe the most difficult part was also to work uh, from uh, through the internet because we uh, it, it was our only the only way to do it. So yeah, uh, working with all those situations i think that uh, we managed to uh, we managed to like uh, decide uh, 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 the proper things um what to do with the one hour uh the one hour uh, time we had to to make this uh, oh, the the one, one hour of length that the work had to be uh, done. Um, yeah, I, I think that uh, also we decided uh, how to work uh, this this piece in like like a six part like a six part piece, uh, working with the ideas of, of, of everyone. Um, well, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk uh, alone. I think that everyone can can uh, can share their their own experience and also tell uh, tell tell everyone uh, how we work on on this. So yeah. Thank you, Santiago. Um, and maybe yeah, uh, everyone. I think that's what. Uh, I suppose can 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 start uh, continue uh, regarding these collaborations in open lab. Okay, uh, thank you, Ranga and uh, Santiago. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not well today. Uh, I have I have uh, an influenza. And and I eat eat, eat uh, apa, uh, medicine before this program, and now uh, I feel so sleepy. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, at first uh, first time when we we 
we were asked to join in the open lab program for uh, uh, from October meeting. Yeah, I had uh, not yet known in deep what what music ambience uh, or music latency and live coding. In this program, I I uh, finally started to learn uh, about that music, uh, even though I'm sure uh, it's still uh, it's still uh, far from enough. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sure I have not studied enough. I think uh, ambience music is music that uh, flow very beautifully. In this open lab uh, process, uh, uh, we got a lot of new things that we didn't know before. Yeah, and we do this process in a very, very flow and natural way because we know that in uh, an open lab like this uh, can has different results. But uh, uh, we hope that the result of this open lab can be useful for us or all of you, or at least can give a, a, like a stimulus for for the next activity. <clears throat> Whatever we get, uh, we also hope, hope uh, this can this can uh, open up our musical knowledge. Uh, as a musician, uh, or maybe performer, or maybe ensemble group, and then uh, uh, through this program, we discuss and do activities to find uh, ways to unite uh, electronic music and acoustic music. This collaboration is uh, very, very, very interesting for me and my friends from Ome actually. Uh, collaboration with Two different musical instrument and with two different different uh, ways of of playing music. <clears throat> but uh, uh, in this activity, I'm actually not totally involved, not totally join <laughs> because I have I have some uh, very urgent schedules in this month. Yeah about my college <laughs> i'm sorry about it uh, as we know uh, that my friends from project mutar have computer instrument which can which can uh, produce sounds very straightly very straightly and then uh, machinable and then with some some coding comments maybe uh, uh, my friends from Peru need some uh, duration, yeah, duration to sounding the sound that they want through their tools. Yeah. <clears throat> this condition is is different with us who have uh, acoustic instruments uh, such as violin, cello, and contrabass, which are uh, extensions extensions of our body. When we want to realize uh, an idea uh, it can be sounded apa, uh, directly directly without without uh, enter a special command into the computer hardware and software because our computer I mean our brain as a computer uh, can work directly uh, to send send comments for our body there is no time lag for us to input comments uh, like in live coding <clears throat> and then uh, based on my explanation uh, it seems it seems uh, we have we have an essential essential difference yeah uh, but actually uh, uh, between live coding and acoustic ensemble <clears throat> are uh, uh, music that has sound as uh, main element yeah. <clears throat> uh, in this open lab we start to we start to uh, like like tuning the mind yeah tuning the mind uh, that both of them are the same that's called music yeah between live coding uh, and acoustic instrument acoustic ensemble uh, 
both of them are the same. That's called music. <coughs> and then uh, we have to try try different ways to collaborate and and uh, delete delete the differences that I mentioned. Uh, uh, then then we also uh, think about apply the concept from the discussion during open lab into the structure or form of music uh, and then uh, in this open lab all participants uh, can give can give uh, some opinion uh, and actually this is the most important i think yeah, uh, about this activity <coughs> uh, and then uh, maybe listening to to music to genre music with with different cultures and and different habit uh, like this uh, we should try to listen listen it as a complete music as a complete music yeah. <coughs> uh, although in composing it we still attention to small parts uh, that can be analyzed yeah. uh, Apalagi ya, uh, and then uh, the improvisation ya, yeah. the improvisation, uh, the improvisation that we play is not just a very free improvisation, but we also give uh, like uh, some limitation yes, limitation or or boundary, uh, so that the music we make uh, still remains structured uh, and can be can be reanalyzed as part of the of the uh, development knowledge of music <clears throat> i think that and then uh yeah i think i think uh my explanation is enough yeah. and uh thank you uh, thank you october meeting thank you my friends from peru from proyekto mutar uh santiago andres renzo and fafio yeah. Oke, okay, kayaknya cukup gak begitu gak? Thank you. Oke okay, mas. Ya, yeah. thank you mas Uput. Yes, thank you so much. Um, I think we could continue uh, with all the participants. Um, maybe from Berto, Iqbal, uh, Andres, Fabio, and Renzo. Uh, anyone want to start to, to to speak first to share their um, their insight maybe or their story during the whole. Um, activities since it, this is i think this is kind of like a quite um, interesting form of collaborations and i think i think there, there, there might be some issues maybe or kind of like maybe some challenges during the the collaborations that we could kind of like share i i, I think i think that's that's that would be interesting um maybe andres you, you want to start first and yeah um so Yeah, like Santiago said, uh, um, well, uh, he contact us and then we meet up and we start to share ideas. So when we develop uh, all the, the sections, I was like uh, really focused uh, in following the, the main, the main uh, theme that was the music. So uh, I was trying like to contain um, all the all the the chaos that can be developing in Hydra and sometimes, um, and yeah, to 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 flow with the with the music to enjoy uh, all the all the music that the the guys were playing, um, and yeah like and following all the all the faces and trying to to complement or to propose some things like uh, from the language or from the from the clips um um yeah i think um for me it was a really great really great um making visuals in this occasion um Yeah, it was was really awesome. 
Thank you, Andres. Um, yeah, it's also interesting that you are like I think they are the only feasibleists in this in these collaborations, and I, I I think there might be also a challenges. But I think we we'll, we'll get into that questions for you. Uh, like what 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 is the challenges for for you to kind of interpret the latency and ambient music? But let's continue with the other one from Actor Music Ensemble. Um, maybe Iqbal. You want, you want to share a story about yes of course yeah. Hello. Can, can you hear me yes can you yes. hear me okay. yes but a little subtle it's not the way. Yeah. where are you right now uh, how about now N much better it's better okay yes much better so um I will just uh, give a short uh, story about my experience do, uh, during our time uh, process. Um, so, like, uh, as like Mas Puput said about uh, essential difference between us, between October Meeting Ensemble and uh, Project Tomutar, it's. Um, Actually, we don't see it as a problem. We don't see it as a trouble. Uh, so we, apa ya? We we use it as a ingredients to make our music. Um, but because of yeah, we we face a lot of problem uh, during the process. Uh, such as about connection internet or our opposite time and it is very challenging but it it gives us more uh, ideas spirit to uh, to realize our to apa merealisasikan ide musik kita Like to realize the musical idea. Realize, yeah. yeah, realize the musical idea. Yeah. Also, uh, it was my first time to collaborate with. Um, how how do we call it? Um, electronic music. <laughs> I I think I think friends from Ome got the combo since it is just it's like a visual use and then electronic music and yeah. also the live coding. <laughs> so it's, it's like... a combo for us. <laughs> Because uh, as a uh, how do I call myself a uh, classical musician? I don't know. Okay, uh, acoustic. <laughs> like yeah, maybe like uh, simply as a instrumentalist. Instrumentalist, like... yeah, uh, yeah. It it is very apa ya, interesting for us to. How do we uh, connect between uh, the electronic and acoustic? Because, yeah, um, like, just like my scooped explanation yeah, about uh, differences between our instrument and their instrument. Yeah, so. Itu aja sih enggak dari aku. Okay, all right. All thank right, you. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's Iqbal um, So let's continue with uh, Pavio. Pavio, you, you want to share about some thoughts and stories? Yes. I, well, I think it was a lovely experience. I've learned a lot. And as uh, Mr. Puput say, said, uh, really, the differences between our instruments uh, it was like a very uh, an important start for this piece and i think it's the first time i have seen like this connection between live coding electronic and acoustic instruments i think it's and with like one hour of, of duration duration i think it's like uh It, it was a great opportunity to for us to explore different timbres, different sounds and textures. 
So I think it, it was a, for me, it was a very important experience. And um, well, one of the first challenges I remember is like when we have to schedule the rehearsals, it was quite difficult because uh, we were like in 7 a.m. in the morning and you were on 7 p.m. and that was like, wow, we had to manage to 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 make the rehearsal like very early, very early here and then continue the day thinking, oh, oh my God, what I have, what I want to, what I going to do tomorrow because tomorrow is the next rehearsal and tomorrow is the last rehearsal. <laughs> So it was a very fast uh, process, but I think it gave us the opportunity to to create in a very intense way. And I think the product, the final product is a very beautiful piece. Thank you for having you. Yeah. Um, I think I'll continue uh, with Berto. Hello, Berto. Hello. Hello, Berto. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Um. Yeah, Berto. It, it seems that there is <laughs> there is this um. What do you say? Like electric. What is your like, earphone? Berto. Yeah, I think your earphones kind of like uh, a little bit. How about okay. now? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, totally clear. Yeah, thank you, Berto. Sorry. Um, yeah, Berto, uh, you want to share uh, some stories or some experiences that that you kind of like have, or some thoughts about about these uh, collaborations um, before uh, here, right now. About an experience is my first time that collaborated with uh, electronic. Music, yeah, we, we can. Can I say that? I mean, yeah, electronic recording. It's okay. Recording. T totally okay. Totally okay. Electronic, totally okay. Yeah, with electronic music and uh, and this was a uh, virtual one. It's really interesting because um. The subject that we discuss about latency is like, um, apa ya? It's like, sangat mendukung gitu loh, mas. Apa ya, mendukung? Quite supporting, like quite. Yeah, hmm. supporting with the idea that we search searching for, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the. Uh, Oh yeah, the interesting part is when we started to recording is at some technical issues, but it's not making the making the music goes wrong, but it's making the music uh still doing right. I I, I mean like when we recording it, my headphone for monitoring it's it's not it's not on i mean i i, I can I, i actually i can hear hear the coding the coding ones so basically Iqbal's, as a pianist is it's a monitor for me and musketeer when we are when we are playing that time so Everything that's happened in there, it depends of what Iqbal doing. <laughs> so we just like, so we just like waiting. What's gonna Iqbal doing? Oh yeah, he he doing this. Okay, and and some and we get the notes from the Santiago also in the chat. So we we see our our. Our time that we we only have a five minute or four minute or yeah, and then we 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 also monitoring the situation, the mood of the music from Iqbal. So everything that Iqbal's do, we do. 
video also. <laughs> Then, okay, but, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, so please continue, Berto. And and that's an interesting part is uh, about the music experience. I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, Berto. Sorry, you are muffled. Your sounds kind of like muffled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now clear. Okay. So the interesting part about the musical things is the the rhythmical. Rhythmical part in this in this music, like I I I can hear what the tempo or anything in the coding ones, but I don't know. I just hear what it it does do, and then and then I I I hear I hear the result. It's in tempo i and i i i don't understand that how i can play in tempo but i don't hear anything from the my, uh from the coding <laughs> and that's interesting one like the how how it can be like that okay, that, that was interesting like <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, so what's interesting, interesting. interesting experience <laughs> for me I mean, like a magical thing. Sorry, Fabio, you said something. Well, I really didn't know that, uh, Berto, but that's interesting because it's like uh, Iqbal was communicate, communicating the uh, the mood of the, of the piece and you were following them. And by following them, you were following us too. And I, well, I don't know, but I was following you, you guys too. <laughs> so kind of yeah. listening and say okay they they are maybe they are answering from our sounds something like that yeah it was only me who can hear you your sound we just realize it when it everything is end <laughs> yeah we, we just, we just re- I, i actually want want to say some when want to say Uh, I, I can hear, but it's it's only continuous, right? Then okay, the show must go on, <laughs> right? You took one from the team for from the team. Okay, for the team. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is truly really interesting, and also like that's actually like quite surprising since, um, well, well, like like listening to the to the to the works. Uh, and I like watching the, the works. Um, it, it was kind of like, it, it felt like everything is right. Like it, it's everything seems right, you know. Like even to it, it, it goes like, you know, all the latencies there, all the glitches there, all the effects with with the you know like lost losing transmissions. Um, it's interesting that there's a part where Berto kind of like lead the moment, you know, and then and then and then kind of like goes together. And to know this reality that. Uh, Berto cannot listen. I think with, with Masvesky also, right? Uh, Masvesky and Berto cannot listen to what uh, uh, Renzo and Fabio made, and then kind of like still manage to 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 work on this. I think that's kind of like truly really interesting cases. <laughs> oh yes, uh, it's okay, Masuput. All right, yeah. Uh, thank you, Berto. For, for sharing the, the, the insights and also the interesting experiences. I think that will kind of like, I think we, we could kind of like talk, we could kind of like uh, talk about that later. I think that will be interesting. And also I want to kind of like invite uh, Renzo. Oh yeah, Masuput, uh, wait, let me write down. Masuput, you need to restart. Um, Renzo, are you here? Renzo? Hmm. Okay, I think I think we can we can we can uh, continue with Renzo later. Okay, so there's a question here from one of the audience. Um, this is from Andri with the Asmara. So in this collaboration. So he said, like, in this collaboration, are you guys use musical response to each other, like players? Or you guys have a planned sounds before, like improvisation on jazz, maybe. 
tell me the process. Yeah. Anyone want to answer this before we continue again? Mm, okay. Uh, well, um, one of the things that uh, we had to decide when on, on the lab was to to see what we are going to do in this one hour performance. So, uh, one uh, the, the thing that we agreed was to work on a like a six part performance, and each part had a, a main idea. Well, in our case, actually, it was uh, two ideas for each part. Like, for example, for the first one, we are going to do to focus on noise and harmony and things like that. So every part had, had, had two main ideas. I don't remember actually what were they right now. I don't know if anyone ha has them noted there. Uh, but yeah, that 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 was that was that that was the process. Uh, we we started with the first one. We gave two ideas, and everyone just uh, uh, tried to improvise on that. Obviously, uh, uh, hearing each other, um, yeah, like like in jazz, acting or or reacting to what the other one is doing, but. Uh, for me, it's actually now very surprising that Berto couldn't hear uh, 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 the, the sound from Fabio and from Renzo. Actually, I think uh, uh, there was a couple of, of, of those problems the, the day of the performance. I, I, I think with, with a couple, uh, with, 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 with some of the performance, uh, not able to hear each other for moments. Uh, but we, we like, like Berto said, uh, we, we had to work with that. Uh, the, the, the show must go on and, and we were already performing and recording. So, so yeah, that, that was the process. Yeah, we had like this structure uh, that Santiago has already said. Um, I think we create uh, thinking on that, on those connection words. Um, yeah, but but we, is, is, well, I, in my case, I, I was hearing what uh, Iqbal, Berto and Res, Reski were playing, just like to give them their space. And I think that's like, something that it might happen uh, on, in just to like give them the space for their ideas to to, if, to if grow and then like then I can like enter with something that doesn't uh, like mm, push them and instead instead of that like complement their ideas with some samples or some melodies. I think it just, it, 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 it I, I had to, to listen a lot. So it's like really interesting that Berto was, wasn't hearing, but I think we, we, we were he, hearing him. All right. Yeah, so there's a the structure there. Yeah, so yeah, that's 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 the structure, right? Like for, for the whole like this kind of like this word is kind of like used uh, to determine the structure of the of the of the whole what our piece is, right? I think maybe you should read it read it. Yeah, so the first thing, yeah. So this the words like 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 what Santiago mentioned before, uh, to kind of like uh, for everyone used to determine the structure of the um, pieces. It is actually like the first, it's, sorry, it is actually like consists of six uh, pairing of words. And the first one is solos plus explosion. And second one, harmony and minimalism. The third one is opposition plus language. Uh, fourth one is melody plus grouping. Fifth one is 
mass and latency. The sixth one is audiovisuals with noises. Sorry, noise, yeah. And this uh, could be uh, found during the whole uh, uh, the, the piece, like during the whole premiere. And I think uh, since this kind of like um, being interpreted freely, I think the, the, the changes kind of like happens uh, naturally or maybe like a fluid, I would say. Yeah. So yeah, does anyone want to want to add more about this or? Let's let's continue with with the next uh, questions that I want to also like, ask, and this is uh, special for Andres. Um, okay, yeah. Before that, I want to make sure that Renzo is here. Renzo, hola, hola, Mikasa, Renzo. I think he had to go because he's, I see he's absent. Ah, okay, okay then. All right then. Like okay. Now continue with question for Andres. So yeah, Andres, uh, since you are the visualist in this in this uh, project collaborations, mm -hmm. like yep. what what might the challenges for you to kind of like um, you know relate your your activities or like your practice with the latency and also like the ambient music since this is like a totally totally different things. Um, mm, yeah, 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 and yeah, like Fabio said. Uh, it was like really intense like in the morning so yeah I was like thinking and, and these visuals I like uh, in like in the first moments I mean in, in, I like disconnected or I read they are really chaotic like for the concept so I was try I tried later like over the day and over the days to to think and to 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 like <clears throat> um, control or to to model like uh, a visual idea to a visual a visual representation to the ideas that we propose on the on the six parts. So yeah, uh, I think uh, that was like the the main challenge to to get on the, on the flow of the ideas and not to <clears throat> to like um, over over overpower you know um, and yeah and over um a thing about the latency was the, that for some moments uh, <clears throat> I like type a command and it like have a latency of uh, five or ten seconds or twelve, yeah. And, and in some moments that was like, man, uh, you, I, I, I want to to break, no. But in mess and latency, I think it, it worked like uh, really fine. Um, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. In the language part, also, I, I was like thinking what words can be in the can be in the in the screen you know and yeah I, I was like um, putting some of my uh, background like a Peruvian and some some words like we we say on uh, like a lot on on the meetings like hola uh, mi causa and and yeah like go with uh, what the sounds were telling, like salut uh, or they uh, bonjour, I, I don't, like hello, uh, in French. Yep. And yeah, I think uh, yeah that that was that was yeah. Thank you, Andres. Yes, like I, I saw also like there is like, so, like saying like hello, Mikasa, like like with with the with the with this kind of like um, delayed um tracks of the of the of the sentences and that's kind of like interesting and yeah i mean like like this is also also a nice uh thing but you know uh, since you know like to see that that the the visuals also kind of like gave uh uh how do you say kind of like um so like, like kind of like like strengthen the the whole um events and i i, I kind of like when i, when I the events for
everyone kind of like, like still moving to, to you know like it, it goes like like uh, the opposite and goes fluid lane and stuff and this is also uh, how do you feel how 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 it, how is it feel like to to be to be able to experiment with latency and also like Is it true reality or is it true like the op totally opposite? Like maybe first false or maybe it kind of like um, actually uh, helps you to understand uh, the reality of the digital uh, realms better. Yeah, maybe maybe anyone who wants to answer or if there's no answer, that's also fine. <laughs> Or do I need to repeat the questions? I think that, that goes too fast, right? Yes, Fabio, you want to say something, no? Yes, I, I was thinking that it was something, uh, latency was something that we could, we had to deal with um, because of the connections and all the technology involved in what uh, the music we were doing. But I think uh, it's, uh, what what Andres said the, the the comments that we were sending were arriving uh, late. It was something that we had like uh, to create this um, this kind of texture, right? Because we we were like give, giving these ideas, and well, Iqbal was hearing them <clears throat> kind of some seconds later. And the music was like evolving in a different way. I think it it made the music work in a different way. And I think also, uh, I don't know. I, I think it's a way that we can use our limitations and don't uh, don't don't see it like a like a bad thing. Like it's the latency has worked here as a as a medium to to make a different kind of art maybe yeah that's an interesting thing to, to, that you bring that and i think i think i think these questions of andrew with really asmara could could relate uh, also into the kind of like conclusions about the latency and ambient music uh, later so andrew andrew with really asmara uh, ask ask again like Thanks a lot for the answer. Next, what do you think about ambient meaning? Mm, help me, he said. <laughs> Every single I say or bring the ambient music, my audience wants hear music with reverb. Every music who have a deep, wet reverb <laughs> and slowly. Um, I know it's not correct. I want to change their minds. <laughs> okay, that's that's a question. Um, yeah, does anyone want to answer this? Maybe also like from, from Octavity Ensemble, also fine or Andres Fabio Santiago? Uh, well, uh, I think like ambient music is a very like changeable concept uh, and sometimes, uh, but basically, but basically uh, I think we can define it like Music that doesn't uh, doesn't follow that doesn't necessarily necessarily follow a pattern, you know, like a rhythmical pattern or an harmonic pattern, you know. Uh, so because of this, it works like uh, like like a texture, like an ambient, and um, yeah. Yeah, I think that that maybe uh, that definition can can work. Uh, I understand that. Yeah, some people want uh, like a very big delay and reverb sound. Um, but but uh, but uh, but that's that's not the only the the only way it can be it can be it can be done. Uh, 
especially especially because when you uh, like try to identify uh, where uh, uh, the, the the concept comes from, um, you go back to, to to France and music from uh, very uh, the very the very late uh, 19th century uh, with people like Satie and some things. Uh, yeah, you, you realize that it, it was more uh, focused on the texture of, 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 of the music, uh, the color of it, uh, more than uh, on the other concepts, on the other concepts like rhythm, harmony, and melody, you know, uh, because it was like a, an historical time where these concepts of, of melody, harmony, and rhythm uh, started to be questioned, you know, and the artists and the composers, not only in music, uh, but also like in painting, for example, would uh, try to focus on, on not not the form, but things, things, uh, things like light, like color. Um, yeah, I think, I think that, I think that, yeah, that's kind of yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Santiago. Um, yeah, this, this is actually interesting that you say that ambient music cannot like relate strongly with, with uh, Latin, uh, sorry, with texture. And and how uh, Fabio also like say that you know like the whole latency is, um, yeah, yeah. Interesting, Santiago. Thanks. Yes, Mas Uh And also like interesting that Fabio brings that you know like the, the latency uh, moments. That happenings during the, the the recording sessions or like the piece, uh, the improvisation sessions, kind of like form the texture itself, and so you know like kind of, I I just kind of like thought that you know like latencies multiplied that equal textures and then that kind of like being organized until become the ambience. Yeah, Fabio. I think the first day we exchanged uh, concepts for that we had about. Um, ambient music and yeah I also had that that idea that ambient music is like very very slow type of music and a lot of reverb but I remember uh, Renzo mentioned as um, some affects twin songs that was very danceable and I remember yeah uh, that's ambient too and that has like a nice rhythm something you can dance uh, and I realized that I mean music it's more like a big concept something that obviously has this uh, space around these this effects like reverb and that stuff but it also can be something very rhythmic it doesn't have to be so static that that's a way that some people might think uh, I mean music is but I think it's a very open concept to explore different things around different types of moods that uh, can your music can um, can be. Uh, that's something I, I realized on the first day that we had like this discussion about what's the definition of um, ambient music. Yes, I think I remember that there's also a little bit discussion about minimalism and also like ambience. And I think I think it was Renzo and you, right, Santiago, kind of like kind of like discuss that minimalism kind of like relates with um, patterns, while you know, while the ambient music itself kind of like relates with textures. And this is also like a thing that I think strongly relates with with the the audiovisual form that just kind of like brings that, you know, like the visuals also contain textures in, in that I think kind of like relate strongly with, with the music. I don't know, maybe that kind of like uh, my, my personal uh, point of views, but I think I think this, this, uh, this, uh, let's say like this, this piece uh, that I, I personally don't know like what the title, but <laughs> like this piece itself, I think it's, it's truly um, say, like kind of like a, a good starting point maybe or it could also be seen as a, 
as a an interesting an interesting way to kind of like collaborate with with a thing that often considered as a disruption uh, for for any any uh, you know conversations or or anything in the digital rooms. Yeah, um, I think we have like three minutes again, and I I want to kind of like bring uh, also like ask everyone uh, if they have like. Um, maybe some some thoughts or, or words or like a statement like closing statement about ah, okay <laughs> all right all right master put yes actually we, we, we already we, are, we already have like three minutes again and we are we are done no worry master put yeah uh, i want to kind of like say that maybe yeah maybe like one or three words about 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 the whole experience and and knowing this latencies, this live coding, and then this ambient music, all friends of all my ensemble, visuals, everything kind of like being wrapped up, accumulated as one. Like, like what is your um, statement or words about that before we close I, this evening? I have like uh, one thing that I uh, uh, like make me make my mind free. <laughs> from uh, to create on this project was when we were talking about what uh, techniques we were, we were going to play. And I think it was Ranga or, or Santiago that said, yeah, because this is not just a, a live coding event. This is not just like that kind of stuff that uh, this like, it's a mix between different things. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's true. Renzo is doing one thing very different than Berto. And it's doing something that's very different from me. It's, it's not like uh, about one thing only. It, it's not only about the technological or the, it's like the music on the most purest form, the collaboration. The So I think that was like, a very interesting way to to approach the creation done uh, something that i I'll, i remember always <laughs> from now on and this is not just a live coding event <laughs> and uh, all the things that maybe everybody can interpret from this but uh, yeah that's it maybe <laughs> renzo is on synth yes Oh and yeah, playing there since. Thank you, Fabio. You. That was beautiful, and I think we can also continue with uh, Berto, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of like um, sharing about the words, a words, a conclusion, uh, kayak simpulan, uh, kata simpulan at atau. Um, Stat statement mengenai semua aktivitas ini kayak kayak, kayak akumulasi dari semua yang kamu dapat tuh simpulanmu apa gitu. Hmm. Like 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 for the whole accumulation accumulations that already here like like your 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 words or thoughts about that. So what I got here is um since the pandemic uh pandemic things of uh, everything every performing is going to the virtual type and the latency is the most issues that we got when we we want to do a performer things and uh and that's and and in this case that we make something make, we make music that using that things using the problems that we all always got when we have a virtual collaborations and that's a something for me I, like uh, so the latency is not the problems anymore like it's the apa ya, unsur unsur itu unsur elements uh, it's, that's the elements of the uh, music that's the element of the performer. So I think it's 
Uh, aku aku ngomong pakai bahasa Indonesia aja ya. Aku agak bingung ngomongnya. Terbantu, terbantu. Ya. Uh, aku rasa tuh dengan latensi itu, dengan proyek ini tuh, jadi nggak harus ini, nggak harus dengan latensi yang terjadi itu loh. Kita jadi sebagai apa musisi juga nggak harus terbendung. Kita juga masih bisa bermusik dengan itu. Itu sih kalau yang aku dapat, Mas. Oke, okay, Berto. Thank you. Yeah, so Berto say that uh, for for him like latency is uh, kind of like a means for for musicians that you know before it was kind of like a distractions but he thought that latency could be um, a possibility to kind of like uh, for being kind of like utilized to play uh, music. And it's not a boundary; it is actually a, a, a possibilities. Yeah, I think something like that. Yeah. So thank you, Berto. And Andres. Um. Yeah, I like. I really enjoy a lot uh, this experience. Um. Yeah. Thank you all for. For all, um, yeah, I think, yeah, that that uh, that are my words. Yep. Muchas gracias, Andres, and also Mas Puput. Um, first, uh, through this program, through this program, uh. I just found out about visual live coding. <laughs> Until before this program, I thought uh, I thought uh, live coding was just about music. <laughs> And uh, uh, I think it's it's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, 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 in 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 first first motif uh, first visual motif. Uh, uh, I see, I see, apa, uh, like color body of Sumatra tiger. Uh, the color is orange and black, uh, like fire. And then uh, second motif, uh, like uh, Japanese clothes, yeah, Japanese clothes. Uh, we we call it surjan. Surjan is Japanese clothes. Uh, And then Iqbal, Iqbal, uh, Berto, and and uh, Kecer uh, play motif uh, slender pentatonic. Yeah, slender pentatonic uh, uh, is one of one of uh, one of apa identity identity Japanese identity Japanese identity. Uh, yeah, yeah, Japanese identity. Uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Uh, is this a coincidence or something on purpose? <laughs> uh, but it's awesome. It's amazing. Uh, and I think an open lab uh, like this has a big effect. Big effect to development of knowledge. It can open up new possibility in musical science, maybe. Uh, meeting between electronic and acoustic uh, instrument uh, is seldom. Yeah. In this collaboration, we we get we get a lot of uh, sound experience. Not even just sound, we get a new experience with with the visual live coding as a part with this project collaboration. <clears throat> And then in this program, uh, we also we also learn learn to to respond from visual. For example, uh, we start with with the some motif, and then uh, when visual are developing, we also developing the motif follow the visual aspect uh, with the various various technique in acoustic ensemble. Uh, and I think it's it's really really new experience for October meeting ensemble. And and uh, through this program, uh, we hope we hope to add to add the uh, uh, listening experience. Yeah. 
uh, gitu ya enggak ya I think enough thank you thank you uh, proyek temutar thank you October meeting contemporary music and musician thank you mas Uput for sharing mas, aku aku juga mau ngomong nih oh ya yeah, ya yeah. yeah, Berto you want to add something uh, yes, yes. And... And it's also a very interesting part is when the when we the musician in the in here that we try to oh yeah uh, connected with the visual so we try to respond respond that visual that Andres do I forgot in the which part itu nomor berapa ya mas yang visual dan itu Which, which one? Oh, yang, yang mana? Yang itu nomor berapa ya? Itu kan kita ada ini kan? Oh, ya, yang ini ada kata-kata itu bukan sih? Iya. Yeah. Oh, ya, yeah, yang ada kata ya, yes, yeah. Like the, the words part. Ya, yeah, the words part the words, that we, yes. we, we try to we try to and uh, we try to connect that with the music. It's that's a interesting part for me too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Berto. That, that was that was like an interesting thing. I think I, I think I, like 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 this. I don't know. That this could be, could be kind of like contains anything that that's still hidden, maybe, or still kind of like being being um, totally um, how do you say? Uh, notice. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think for the last one, I think hopefully Renzo is here, but sadly Renzo is struggling, right? Yeah, so Santiago. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, from from my part, I I am first uh, very thankful um, to Andres, uh, Fabio, and Renzo uh, for for joining this this project. Uh, because yeah, Proyecto Mutar only acted as as, as a greatership for for uh, calling them uh, to be part of this. Um, yeah, I think that that uh, the result was what uh, was amazing. I I love it. Uh, um, I I think that also uh, Iqbal, Berto, and Reski did an amazing job. Uh, I, I, I also love what, what, what they did and, um, um, and how, how, how they, 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 they managed to, 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 yeah, to, uh, to create uh, things that uh, work so perfectly with, with, with the electronic, uh, the electronic, uh, the electronic side of the break. Um, yeah, I also, I, 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 I also, uh, uh, like Fabio said, I, I also uh, uh, learn to like to focus not on the language itself, but on the on the music itself and the sound itself you know uh, like not focusing on the language but but on what what uh, what it it produced um, yeah that's maybe that's that's what I, I take for me from this project the most and well thank you also to to the direction of the October meeting for calling us to participate. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you so much, Santiago. And again, I think I will, I will kind of like resonate that. So thank you so much uh, for also friends in Peru, Andres, Fabio, and also Renzo. And from October meeting ensemble, Mas Puput, Berto, Iqbal, and Mas Reski. Sadly, Maskeski cannot join. I think Iqbal uh, left for for working, right? I think he's, he's having like a, a kick, I think. 
And yeah, uh, on the behalf of Oxford Meeting Contemporary Music and Musicians, I want to say thank you so much again for everyone here and to, to, to kind of like, to put your energy to make this happen. And hopefully this will be a better start, a good starting point for the upcoming, um, you know, like events, collaborations or, or anything that we could do between Indonesia and Peru. I think that will be great to kind of like also, you know, um, try experimenting in also another thing beside of latency and ambient music. I remember uh, during my me and Santiago conversations in, in other events, I think Santiago kind of like mentions that um, to kind of like uh, open everything for also involving another musicians or another artists with different musical languages or artistic languages. And I think I found that totally beautiful since, you know, like there is, there is, there is still um, things that we, we didn't know um, could be, could be brings as a discourse or like bring, could be brings as a thing uh, for, how to say, like for kind of like founding the conclusions in the in the in the in, in our personal artistic artistic practice or like in, in general terms. So yeah, I mean I really I personally like like really grateful to 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 watch this happens and also to be to be there to kind of like observe observe and also help a little with every everything. And yeah uh, thank you so much everyone and I think we we, we should close this and we, we are going to kind of like record this actually we, this 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 meet this meeting is recorded and we're trying to kind of like edit that and put that in the in the streams and then kind of like let that flows until Thursday ones of um october and hopefully or if if it, if it could be kind of like until until later after the october yeah uh thank you so much everyone um thank you so much and i'm sorry if there's like a little confusions or like there's like a thing that I didn't realize that kind of like made you guys feel uh, discomfortable and yeah um, regarding our tour meeting uh, my name is Ranga Purnamaji and thank you so much everyone to be here and see you guys on the next events in October meeting contemporary music and musicians 2021's um, delivery mechanism thank you so much everyone thank you